Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Let's get these guys going. Faith just said a little hello to Klaus there, and Sangria's on her way to find breakfast. Tomasov jumped into working on making medicine, which was good. Miss P was taking a break, but she's... Oh, she's going to go butcher. Does that really mean butcher? It means butcher. Good. Let's turn as much of this meat into freezer goods as we can before we have to put something else in here. Looks like a lot of animals. There's a lot of tiny little animals. There's squirrels. So they're taking up a lot of space too. Um, we do have a bear in there though. Is Mr. Cougar still there? There he is. Cather was asking about a cougar skin jacket. But he only makes 36 leather. And a cougar skin jacket takes jacket right there. Details take 70. So actually, so what did I say, 36 or 32? Either way, around two cougars to uh, to make that happen. So <clears throat> not gonna happen right now. Anyway, I just realized I'm looking at the new rec room. And good. I want Klaus to seal that up so we can take this thing out of here. Um, Granite Auto Door... Where's... Oh, it already is set for deconstruct. Klaus, you're going to go build a roof. You want to go build a roof badly. How about you deconstruct that for me? So, basically, this old pathway here is going to become wall. This original pathway I'm going to maintain as our, as our way out from this area. Put a new pathway into the room here. And build this quick little new pathway to get into the battery area. And probably leave it open to the outside here and hope this isn't a problem as far as being able to uh, um, put out fires in this area and get in, in and out of here. By closing that off, that is a little risky as far as heat, law, heat you know, getting the heat out of there. Um, actually, Klaus, is somebody else doing this or not? Hauling granite blocks to... Okay, we're about out of granite. That's what's going on. So we're open up to the outdoors right now. Ouch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> granite blocks. We really need granite blocks right now. Yeah. Bill kind of turned them all <laughs> into clubs. <laughs> Did a good job at it, though. But, yeah, we're, we're kind of out of granite here. Um, wow. What do I do here? Let's just stick a temporary wooden wall right there and call that one a Band-Aid. Uh, structure, wall, wood. Um, right there, Klaus, instead, why don't you go and fill that in. Thank you. I had Handy tear this apart, so we need to get this one built real quick. And that one also took granite. Hmm, because it's an outdoor entrance into the base, I wanted it a little stronger. Yeah. Okay, we got to get granite going. Who can do some granite? Kaya. Kaya, where do you... You've been sewing, but what... Uh, what have we really got going on sewing-wise? We're in pretty good shape. Just some hats left. So, Kaya, I'm going to... Needs are good. I'm going to commandeer you to hop down here and work on granite blocks for me. And I see there's 19 over there, so that's about all that we've got at the moment. So, with that, we'll get the rest of these up and going again. What else has gone on overnight? This is just the next morning from last episode, so I'm trying to recall what I have done. I get a lot done in one night. I just assign them to do all kinds of things. Got all these set through here. Got more smoothing done. Had sea stars in here smoothing and building and David in here building all of this. Tomislav is making a club. Hmm. How can I eliminate that? Let's go here work because it was real nice that he was making medicine but they're all considered crafting. That's a problem. Um craft all right bill is a two on craft who's okay bill okay going up the line there you are a three kathra and michael is a three and tomislav is a four i was gonna say set it to a larger number but boy i need to set it just to a two in order to keep this going so let's just make it a two so bills and details and you can't do it unless you are between 1 and 2 on your skill level. This is just a beginner's thing and using telescope. Okay, we're done using telescope. Why don't you come back down and make more medicine? Be nice to get these three beds completed. 
and that's going to empty our medicine pretty good. So we've actually been using quite a bit of it. So I'll pop back down here afterwards and get that going. All right. So what else has been going on? Got well, we got these done last time. Um, asked Cathra to bring some furniture down to here that came from this room. So this room's ready to tear down. This one can be uninstalled. It already is set for uninstall. Um, Alicia, when you're done relaxing socially, why don't you go and uninstall that for me? Let's say deconstruct. Ah, that's fine. It's, it's a wooden one. It's probably not worth that much. Let's take the roof down in here. Zone. So basically, this is what we're going to do until we get ourselves some kind of a raid. If that's going to happen anytime soon. So we're going to do that and that. That looks good. Ask them to take the roof down through this whole area. So there are no surprises over here as we're tearing all this apart. But let's uh, uh, remove roof through here now. Now there's all overhead mountain in there. Okay. Um, be nice to get some walls built in here. Hello. Inspiration Go Frenzy. Tomislav is going to be running really fast for a while. Handy, can you build that one for me? Let's build everything that's going to get stuck behind you know, in, in, in unbuildable places. And it wouldn't hurt to get a couple more popped in here and there. Handy, you are specifically removing a roof. Well, they're all going to want to do that. Why don't you, since you've got, actually, who was that? That was Tomislav. But I want him to do the medicine. Okay, so Handy, come on over and fill in these voids over here of marble. And let's get that area filled in. Okay, Alicia is binding this area out. Um, Kaya, how you doing on blocks over there? There might be enough soon to build that door. What was it? Granite, uh, an auto door. A little different. So 25 blocks is the same as the other ones. Okay, Eric, you are consuming a fine meal. When you're done, get me a door built, please. Thank you. Great, Handy. I need you specifically to do that one. Mm. And that one. And these can be done diagonally, I'm pretty sure. But just in case I'm wrong, go ahead and do these as well. And that's probably enough for this area. We're tearing this wall down soon. So I don't have to worry about that. Boy, it'd be neat, uh, nice to get in and get the armory going. It would. Um, Miss B's asleep, Cesar's asleep, so it's just Alicia right now. Okay, well before you bust into all of this and wreck our cooling system, or our, our heating system, our furnace, why don't you pop up into here and do that one, and then do that one. And hopefully you get there far enough to want to do that. Otherwise I gotta take you in from this way. If we can get our armory busted open and get a whole bunch of shelves built in there, then we can still two chicken eggs then we can get all the weapons moved into here and empty this out come up with another use for this area in fact we can probably just move these shelving units over there that might work okay we've got a whole bunch of harvesting going on over here that's good faith is having a ball doing the uh, the harvesting needs she's got tons of joy for doing the gardening work that's good to see rabbit has get, got the green thumb so he's going to get a double bonus out of that um, we're still kind of maintaining and we're pretty much out of hay. So let's stop and think about hay. I have been moving rice into there as fast as the, the dogs will haul it and the animals are eating it just as quick. Yeah. So you are raw foods, vegetables, your rice as well as the hay and you are, need to be rice as well. You right there storage your rice and your rice so all that could be rice and we'll just have to just have to do it we got rice is, is something that grows really fast so we're replacing it at a fairly decent pace this is all rice up in here as well so um, of the vegetables that we've got available that we could use as animal feed that's one of them uh, that's a that's a good one now where else can we feed these animals I wish that we had had the next raid soon. 30% grown, 5% grown, 5%, 30, what looks like more mature stalks. Over here we got a bush that's 35% grown. 
So if I were to send them outside, they could munch on you know whatever's on the on the ground out here, but uh, and then just keep the predators away. I got some ibex over there, but a raid dropping in would just have fun slaughtering them all on us. So if we can get the next raid done, then maybe we can you know, move the animals outside temporarily and just keep moving them around the whole map until they've eaten everything up. I don't know. It's going to be real tight this time. It is. Um, hmm. Okay. I'll think more about that after this episode's over. That's probably about the timing that uh, is going to become critical. Though it'd be nice if more of the animals... Let's make sure the dogs are capable. They can get into here. Can they get into there? I think so. Animals, dog area. Yeah, they can get into everywhere but, but sleeping there. And let's do that same kind of thing here. Dogs, clear out. Dog area. I don't want them sleeping in this room. Leave that for the, uh, for the, the, the grazing animals. Dogs don't get to sleep there. Okay, nor there. Plenty of spaces in here. There's plenty of spaces in here. And this is all going away. So we do need to think about where we want to have dogs sleep in the base. And if that is a thing, and do we stick some kibble in here? So we've not had an, a uh, toxic rain event yet. <laughs> yeah, watch next episode. But... Um, we uh, haven't had to have all the animals inside the base for the horrors or something like that. If that happened here, when we're not prepared, we have no hay and whatnot, I think I would just have to go through and slaughter about everything and start over. That would be that would be rough. Set them loose. Well, every, all the grass, all the plants are going to die. Yeah, that would be a tough one. Anyway, um... Kind of roaming through here. Alicia's made her way out to here. Is that the last one? Last one of this row here. So get that one done. You just finished? Pause. Let's get you back to doing something else. Now, Alicia? No. I was going to send her out to here to get us some more compacted machinery. But we've got a raid potentially coming at any time. So having her out here by yourself just doesn't sound like the smartest thing. We got some over here, but you can't get to it because of the deep water. We have to mine a pathway to it. Same thing with up in here, you can't get to it unless you bust a pathway through. Though that looks like it might be shallow. I think that's why I chose that. So otherwise, I don't know of any of the uh, compact machinery hiding anywhere else. At least nowhere close. But even not close, I don't think I've come across Got some uranium there. Now it's just what we're going to run into in the base. The rest of our mining down here. Hmm. Um, talked about the jail a bit. Um, Boar's given birth. Let's pause a second so I can think and not worry about what's going to come up on us. When we did the little jailbreak battle, where am I? Right over here. We had our people stack one, two, three, or one, one, two, three. They all, were all able to reach this door somehow. And these guys were all kind of able to reach this door, except May May really did kind of hold back. So the idea of a bottleneck seems like it's the, the best way to deal with a jailbreak. What I'm thinking of is eliminating and put this door and putting a wall in there. So we only have one way in and out of the jail. And then I've reworked this a little bit so I can put stone here and here so that we can stand there 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 and potentially you know six of us out here outside this door they're gonna all pile into here assuming we get here before they you know empty out of their rooms and pile through here and, and come through so assuming that we get here in time then they can't stack themselves all along this door and diagonal in at us they're gonna have to come out here and I assume single file work their way through this doorway, this, this this little bottleneck here. So the choke point. So I'm hoping that that's going to be an effective way to put our crew out here and let them all pummel whoever walks through the door first. That's my thoughts. We'll see how that goes. But we are, you know, gradually getting to the point where we're ready to start building this. Um, just trying to get more of our area done first. David, 
it is 1800 you are just getting up okay and you are building a granite door over here okay because that's a wall okay you're going there um okay build that wall or that yeah you go ahead and do those sort of things klaus you are building a granite wall let's have you instead smooth let david build the wall and have you go through and do hmm you're gonna be hungry soon that that and that and it's 1800 then I'm gonna force you to go get a meal so you don't go to bed starving oh we've really worked a lot of our fine meals out today consume a fine meal okay handy where are you at can we do more of that room there you are building a granite wall down in oh you're going down there to do that okay this one is needing two components handy why don't you do this one first uh, you're actually going where? You're going up into here. Oh, okay. Let's do that instead. And I'm going to sit here for a moment. Make sure you actually start working on that. Alicia didn't go anywhere. Where was I going to have her go? I was going to have her work back over here again. And do that one too. Okay. So handy. Grab those. Start working on this. There. Now I can have you pop down into here. Your food is good. So that was Alicia. Handy. Your food is good enough. Okay. So you do that and then I'm going to have you take over these. Didn't feel like that one hit. Smooth. There we go. And is that a door? That's a door. Right there. Eric popped in to help out over up here as well. In fact, Eric, you're good for a little while yet. Why don't you work on smoothing down in here next? Eric failed while constructing. Okay. Alright, little by little that's happening. And Kaya, did you you just quit on me here? Cutting stone blocks needs. You are ready to crash. Let's let you go. Thank you very much for your service. And we got enough to get us through the night here now. Okay. Tomislav, let's make sure that you are not... You need a meal. Okay. So who else have I assigned to things that are half dead because I let them just linger in there? A wild boar is pregnant, of course. Let's pause and think about animals for a little bit here. Sangria's been off doing her stuff today, but no no new uh, recruits, so to say. So we've got wild boars down here, and... Hmm... Let's think here. First of all, you're going there. That's the one that was just born. Nothing else new over here. And did we get... We got some rice moved into there. We got some rice moved into there. Okay. So that happened. And we're out of hay. We are almost out of kibble again. Okay. Shantico is butchering. Mississippi is butchering. All right. Um, yeah. Mississippi is actually making kibble. Okay. And you are not locked into that. No and no. Where's Michael? Right over here, you were relaxing socially, and yeah, you don't truly need it. I wonder, because you get a joy also from doing your work. Let's have you come up here and work on kibble. Kibble, yeah. So, Michael, we have meat. We're actually kind of low on meat. So that's really the uh, uh, what's holding us back. It is the, yeah, come on up here and do this. It is the amount of meat. We just cannot keep up with kibble. And I see that they had started on the, um, are they over here? They're not. We've got 12 of them though, the pre, uh, the, pre, the package survival meals. So that took up a lot of meat too. Let's get that one shut down again. We started getting a lot of meat building up and I went ahead and gave them the go ahead to, to make it happen and 
decided that probably wasn't the best plan now. So Shantigo is back to making meals. Now he's back to butchering. He's just kind of hopping back and forth. <laughs> okay, well, they're doing their thing. We're moving more rice over into there. Uh, more kibble is available. It'll get moved. It might get moved before the night's over. I'm thinking that pig is racing in to do something right there. And it is... Nope. It is leather. Okay, well, that's all happening. So, Andy, you are smoothing this out. This room is getting close to being done. Eric, why don't you bring supplies over to get that happening? And hopefully you, you can snag this one, too. And David is night shift. So, he... You can come on down here and do these... Um, that one, and that one, and that one, and then you can go ahead and do the uh, the shelf unit right there, and then you can do the lights. Yeah, between all of that, you might have a room for sea stars for tomorrow. Otherwise, over in this area, we do have another room, but it needs to be smoothed. So unowned, this one's almost ready. Alicia, uh, you do growing on the side. Who? Kaya. Attempting to recruit. Uh, character construction 9. You do construction on the side. Carpentry. When you're done trying to make that recruitment, you pop down here, build that, and build uh, and clean that. And then we can put somebody in here. And who's left? In fact, Kaya's left, right? Kaya and Sea Stars. Kaya, you can be finishing off your own bedroom. Because with that... That was, where am I? Right here. That's the next room. You are now Kaya. Um, right there. And with Sea Stars moving into here, like I can, well, I could set it, but they just might uh, wake her up. She just might get here before all this happens. Okay. So with that, I think we're entirely out of the old base. Emptied. Sea Stars. Unowned. Okay, well, it's happening. Now, oh, I had set somebody up here. That's maybe what, yeah. All right, Sea Stars, you, uh, we're, we're open to the world now. We don't have the parts to get this sealed up. Let's just pop a quick wall in here, that one right there. Build copy it like that. Sea Stars is a constructor. Pop in here and do that. And let's get that sealed. This room, this place is going to be darn cold. 41 degrees. Now, that's not too bad for the end of winter but still it's pretty cold so you pop this or seal this up for me and we did lose one I worried about that yeah that one was a mistake so let's take this out uh, deconstruct and we'll figure that one out then no more of these should be we should be uh, taking these walls down boy you were quick sea stars went to go get a meal rabbit let's see what you can do for construction I think you can handle a a wooden wall there you go so you are on your way to bed what can I get you to do along the way um, this would be Michael's rooms looking pretty good all these rooms are pretty clean okay wood is finally getting brought over here oh good kinda wanted a, a bunch of wood in the far end of the of the of the colony so that and I had nothing else to do with this hole in the wall here but um, Weaver had to set up campfires to try to heat the place in a cold snap in the winter. It'd be nice to have wood in different places. We got got it over here. We'll have it over here. We'll have it up in here. So it kind of you know, spreads it out a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm just about out of time as far as getting them to do things before the day is out. So I want to pause a second and stare at things. This is Eric's room. Why don't you, Klaus? do that real quick clean that up um we're okay over here don't think that's dirt so dave and bill over there they're night shifts so they're off doing things what's bill up to bill it has plant cut as one of his because he likes uh, he likes to grow right bill character grow a little bit yeah so one passion so i'm hoping that in fact do we get a sense of plant cut providing that needs yep joy's going up so he's having fun cutting trees down. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> so I just queued up these trees over here. And, oh, there's a few more over here. Oh, there's some over here, too. Yeah, I did get a little further. So Bill's going to be busy for a while. Sea Stars, you are 
Gonna grab a meal, and then I want you over here for the night. Let's work on our potential, potentially into the armory. Let's go ahead and set this um, orders. It means I need to take it one wall bigger, so I can. Yeah, I don't really need to. This doesn't have to have smooth or perfect walls. They're not going to live in here. Not like a bedroom. Okay, let's see if we can tap into this one and set up a quick armory. So what do we got going on? We've got Natalia, who is making components. She's really enjoying making components, and I see we've used all of our components. Yeah, I kind of need her living in this place. Speaking of, boy, if we could just get sealed. Um... David and Sea Stars. Those are our constructors at night. So, David, I've assigned you to do all kinds of things. Uh, orbital Trade Beacon. Oh, I wanted you to do the light bulbs, and you're filling in this guy as well. So that we can sell any any weapons that are out in this area. Okay. Um, let's say that's not not super priority now. We could do that tomorrow, since Sea Star's not going to sleep in there tonight anyway. Let's get you instead to cancel. You want to go recruit, Clom recruit Clompster. Oh, that's right. We need to talk about Decker. Um, I want you instead to fill in these walls. So do that. Hopefully you'll do both. And then she's sealed. She's no longer got the clutter from and the unsmooth floors and all that from the, all around. And we should then get a more accurate reading of the beauty in here. Still two point, or negative 2.4. I don't think that's accurate. Only a bunch of negative ones in here and a little bit of dirt. I don't think that's 2.4. So I think it's still grabbing outside of these holes in the walls and grabbing the whole area out here. So all right, with that, what was I about to do? Uh, Decker. Let's let this go. I'm thinking Decker needs to go. He does have the 97% difficulty. He's missing an arm now. And there weren't, weren't that many skills. I figured, you know, to get a guy in here, we, we would just make it work. But, although the crafting five's kind of nice, but without being able to join in melee or ranged, I'm thinking that we'll wait for our next round of raiders and try... Maybe we'll take more time next raid, as if it could take more time than I do. But find a way to wound more. That's not easy when they're shooting you. But there's got to be a way to get more guys into this room. It's got to be. I, I put all the flower pots in. I think it was Kaya that was talking about making this prettier. And I think that's who had left the comment. That was many episodes ago. Did it help much? Point three. It just brought us up to neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think Decker needs to go. Right there, release. Clompster is still interesting. He's 11 in, in melee. He character does have all of this though. I mean, playing this game on my own, he'd be gone. I wouldn't even wouldn't even consider him. But we're getting more and more into a situation to where they're going to recharge well at night. So they're going to start off in better shape. Be, you know, we're about to get a real rec room and a real dining room. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot more, um, a lot more greens on them. Which is going to offset those, all those negatives that they're going to have in their traits. I'm hoping that that's the way it's going to go. Otherwise, it's just going to be really interesting. Michael is stuck doing something. Making kibble. Go to bed. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't, don't crash on me, please. So, depressive, negative 12, tired, ugly environment. Let's get you, first of all, a fine meal on the way. So we don't wake up with an extremely hungry thrown in there, too. So let's do that. And that will, hopefully, finish things off for you. Okay, let's start this interview here. Sea stars. Oh, good, you made it. So let's kind of direct you sideways into here in a little while. Otherwise, needs, your beauty is really bad. Your joy is good, though. Hopefully that keeps in. You get a lot of night owl at night. You've got tons of joy. Uh, very comfortable. Probably your, your bedroom. or your Yeah, you got a superior bed, I think, is what we moved into you last time. Um, oh, you're up at night. I could have had David do that. David, you're going to do all that. And you've got nothing else going on. Why are these forbidden? 
Why would those have been forbidden? I'm not sure what that was about. But, David, let's then finish this so that she can use this room. So go back to working on this when you're done with that. And no power nearby, is there? So I guess i got to also ask you to move or to work on uh, conduits over here. And then let's see if we can get you to work on that vent. Stuff like that. We'll, we'll make it work. Okay, continue on. Bill is still out here working on his, his lumbering skills. I are a lumberjack. Grandma over here making fine meals. Kibble is in the 200s. It'll be fine. And we're out of wood over here. So we're finally going to start taxing our batteries. Okay. Um, David, you've got your orders. Alicia, you consume a fine meal, and then you can help work on the new armory. So grab that meal, and when you're done, hmm, there's a challenge. First of all, pop into there. Sea stars, you're going here next. Once you open up this, I can I have three surfaces to send Alicia to. There's one We'll get her halfway over here and she'll stop and find something else to work on that, that fits her schedule. But Sea Stars, as soon as you work on that one, can I get you to do that next? It doesn't exist yet. Okay. Pop into there. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one. Alicia, when you're done, you work on that one and work on that one. Between those three, that's going to get you in here. You guys can all go away. And Sangria is working on Training Ripple. Otherwise, 6 a.m., lights are turning on. Uh, these guys are going to charge up now. I'm hearing wind noises, but it's still clear. And so I think we'll be back in just five. So we only, only went down halfway with two generators down. Okay, Sea Star's in there. Alicia made it. Good. So all the dogs are grabbing the stones out of there. Bill, you're still out here. Faith and Kaya sleeping. David, you are distracted you're working on things that you're able to work on let's get you to work on that and that and Klaus let's get you right into working on that conduit all right so that should give us enough to make this a sea stars right there and we are done with the old base there unknown unowned unowned we are good so, hmm, what do we maintain for now? Let's just take out this bedroom for now. Let's zone. I already pulled the roof out of here, right? I did. Is it brightly lit? It is. Okay. Then who handy needs you're good. Then let's deconstruct there. There are no other roofs attached to this. I'm not going to make that mistake again. And Handy, come on out and do these. You can grab a meal afterward. And I think I figured out why the corners tend to have the conduit also being torn down. It's because I deconstruct by pulling across here, and it got its order to do the wall. And then I pull it across here again, putting a second deconstruct order on that, which took the next layer down the conduit so conduit there we'll cancel that one now I need a rework conduit in this area in fact I probably should do that before they build all the walls huh well I guess not really necessary once this comes out here we'll have access to that okay no problem but boy Henny just made short order of that let's though de now floor remove remove floors did I get the right one Yes, I did. Handy, you are now building a wood shelf. Where? You're going all the way back into right there. Ah, building shelf for Kaya. Okay, do that. Needs. Then come grab a meal. You can just get a regular simple meal. That'll be fine. And then I want you back over here. And got to be careful about... Cleaning up oh, right there, cleaning. Yep, remove, remove. 
Alright, the lower one when a second choice shows up. Otherwise, until all of the construction projects are done, shoot frenzy, um, nobody will do any deconstruction for me. So, gotta do this manually. And it drives me insane. Probably as crazy as you guys watching me do it. Especially when I make a mistake three quarters of the way through. <laughs> Alright, looking good. One more. Oh, that spooked me. Right there. Alright, so who shooting? Sangria. Shoot frenzy. Really no value in that. Oh, we've got ourselves a mega sloth. Okay. Well, and we've got an alpaca over there. Our two ibex over here is a turkey. Um, raccoon, bunch of pigs. We got a herd of pigs over here, though I don't think they're called a herd. Um, Sangria, if you were to hunt this guy, what are you doing right now? You're playing chess. So go ahead and do that. You can do it from enough distance because of your, your uh, assault rifle that if he comes at us, I can probably get you back through the door. Just need to remember to check. That'll give us enough mega sloth fur or hide or whatever to be able to do something with it in a larger quantity. That's my thought there. And for one animal, we get a lot of meat. But yeah, we've cleared a lot of this out. That's good. A lot of kibble in there. And it's probably time to think more. Well, we still have rice in here. Boomalope, hungry. Nope. Little guys? No. Up here, you're all doing okay on food-wise. So we're going to make it for one more episode. We're, spring starts tomorrow. Then we got to get them growing, which means I need to set a lot more of our characters to sewing so they can just start filling all this in. Of course, that's spring starting. It's not our growing season. So I'm not real sure. Let's think about that. Rabbit, you want to go harvest... And that's fine. Can I? Oh, and that has been sewn. So we are able to sew. If I were to right click, I can make you sew that area. Okay. So I guess after this episode, I'll go through everyone's schedules and figure out if I can get five or six dedicated to sewing and let them just start filling in all of these voids and getting this process going. Doesn't mean we're going to make it, but I think we, I think we will. It's just not guaranteed. We still have a lot of potatoes and a lot of corn that we can shift into here, as well as stuff for ourselves that will be coming in here soon to continue making our own meals. So I think we're going to make it. And if we can get another gardener or two recruited, Klaus is working on May May right now, then maybe we can get this finished and dedicate a big chunk of it to new recruit to uh, hay grass. That's hay grass right there. And not have to deal with this again. Next winter, there will be a crop of it growing all the time. So we've got May May. Jump to right over there. And we will name May May next time. I haven't heard back from Manuel and Radar. So if I don't this episode, then Manuel will probably become Manuela right here. He was the first one to request a female character. I don't have any other female characters on my list. If there are any out there, let me know that uh, if, if I've forgotten or just didn't see the note or didn't write it down. Otherwise, we have Klomster after that. And I'm not sure who on my list will will uh, be Klomster because let me flip back some pages here. I never got any answers from the five that I uh, that I read off last time. Still looking for Baldrick, Norman, Pavel, Gnarly, and Choctaw. So if you guys are still watching, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to skip past you and, and go for the next five once Klomster is uh, is recruited. Otherwise, um, 40 minutes into this, what are we doing at the moment? So let's do this real quick. May May is going to be a, mm, I guess melee, kind of, kind of not. Um, we'll set her up as melee right here just to let's see. May May, you're right there. Set you up as melee the melee. Mm-hmm. But, um... 
let's get her set up for that and a little more of her character we've got okay jealous but green thumb okay that's ooh, there we go that's what I was needing so we can start planting everything but so don't have to worry about uh, night owl or anything like that is there any advantage to having a a uh, gardener at night though very well might be I don't think nighttime would be a problem you know planting in the dark would be a problem if it is let me know but I think we'll go ahead and set her up for nighttime uh, that didn't work right there and there and sleep right here and that didn't work either okay let's try that one again you are Michael you stay there joy goes there joy goes there and she didn't have a lot of negatives need just jealous jealous of Klaus's bedroom so Klaus now has the best bedroom or, or else it's one better than what she wants I'm guessing it's the best bedroom um, cabin fever serious once she gets outside where's she at let's put her directly outside pop out here and can you clean right now okay sure man the steel mortar just got to get you out the doors and that should go away outside and give it a few seconds and it's gone okay so that negative 15 is one of the easiest ones to get rid of you just got to get him outside but let's leave you right there for a moment work um let's set these guys you are a four we'll take you down to a, a four that's all you get there handles a no um wardening is a four so you can feed meals your construct you really want to, to learn how to do it but your biggie is going to be growing and plant cutting in fact we'll do that and then you're going to fall back to hmm you're actually decent at art we'll think about that but hauling is your next fallback okay grow and if you can't do either of these you go into hauling so yours is pretty simple for now anything else i gotta do to just for background homework what not nope don't think so animals while I'm here any new yes right there none okay and anybody else that has grown up that we need to say goodbye to let's that's, that's, those are dogs so they they get to stay over here let's take out these two juveniles and we'll let these guys hit their next stage and we'll take them out as well just stick to that group there for now um, otherwise I think we're okay there and now that everybody's hauling everything in fact let's turn this off I just saw a club come down bills let's suspend that no more clubs coming down we need the uh, we need the, the the granite blocks but what was I just gonna say I don't know the pig just disturbed me running through there um hey uh, rice that's what I was looking for we still have food in here we still have some food in here okay that's happening we have kibble over here barely but we've got some they just haven't arrived yet they're probably find a dog with a pile of kibble running through oh it's all piled up over here so just a matter of getting it there Shantigo you when you're done why don't you do me a favor and do a little bit of cleaning in here this place is getting just atrocious and Michael you don't clean so I'm not gonna even attempt that one but kibbles being made meals are fine otherwise bedrooms have been assigned we're getting there we really are who's down in this area that can do some spot cleaning for me clubs are coming in stones are coming in Thomas uh, making medicine oh okay well let's fix that you are superior storage important and drugs no medicines that one is herbals Okay, let's make you temporarily a critical and Tomasov haul the oldest stuff. So we've got two years, one year, and up in here, do we still have some? That's not a thing anymore. Where else are we storing medicine then? Or are we not? 
just over here. Okay. Well, then have you, um, Tomislav, uh, break and why can't I not? You are storage. You're critical. You're going down to important. Okay. With that, Tomislav. <laughs> There we go, haul the 72. That did that right, right? Yeah. Now you're gonna haul the 72 over. Great. Then we can take you back, and we'll leave you at important, and we will reset you for important. Now that, that way they'll be even, and as the dogs are emptying out uh, where we're, we're growing it, they'll, they'll go randomly to one side or the other. Yeah, so I'm ready to turn this off. Anything important? Um, release Decker, Prism Back Door. I've been looking at my notes real quick. I'm gonna pause for a second. What do we do here? I had this over here. I moved it. I got to thinking, you know, when they do a Prism Break, they can go through the door, but they could also go through the door. So this was actually meant to go away. Put this guy at the end and take out the. Um, the doors completely and that would be the end of it i'm just a little concerned that this isn't much of a barrier when they prison break they're they are going to go through the doors they're not going to come pound on this right because this these are going to go away i originally i was just going to fill this all back in with blocks just make it all big solid you know return the restore the mountain basically and there'll be no other exits from here but and that might still be the plan. That's kind of what I'm asking you guys about. Cooling this is a, is an issue. We I did not plan on vents into here. I could put a vent right there. Yeah, that's possible. I could vent that. But I'd need a vent in here somewhere too. I could vent like that space right there. And yeah, and right there and just vent through them that way. But then we got to go through all these other vents. It's kind of hard for to pull a cool around this thing but we're in the mountain so places where I'm not heating right there is 55 when outside it is 54 it's still hmm, outdoor temperature I have a feeling we're still gonna get a little bit warm in here we could put evaporative coolers out in the hallways you know leave a spot here for evaporative cooler and a spot here take these two out evaporative cooler and just keep this whole hallway in here constantly chilled that way it'd be free air conditioning too so that way there's no penetration out of our prison so kick that around give me your thoughts what are your opinions on that put the one cooler in and just hope that nobody busts their way through or seal it all up in a couple of evaporative coolers that we just constantly cycle maybe build one and a week later build one and just have them kind of you know cycle in and out we just have to remember it but then we'd only have to deal with it for you know, a couple of weeks out of the year. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal. We'd only be chilling the, the hallway, so it won't actually be directly hitting all the rooms. It'll be indirectly and then spread out between 12 rooms. So it's not like we're going to chill them out or anything. So there was that on the list. Carpet. Those of you, well, now everybody that is a character that is still watching the game, still watching the series, do you want a colored carpet in your room? And do you want to be moved to a different room? We're still going to take out at least these two, you know, next rows over here for more melee. And we've got these rooms all here coming out. So if you've got other ideas on where you should be in the base, let me know that too. If you want a specific chair type in your room, let me know. If you've got specific items that you'd like to see on your shelf, it's not that easy to get them there. I can't choose a, you know, a cougar skin jacket to land right there. I can only choose jacket and then make it a critical priority, get everything else down to a notch lower than have someone specifically go, go and move that one piece to have it land there. So it's possible. It's just a little tricky. But let me know how you want to start customizing your bedrooms, your, your, your apartments, your studios and uh, give me your thoughts on that the let's give you something to think about here 
the stone floors give you a plus one. The smooth floors give you a plus two. Wooden floors are neutral. There's nothing, there's zeros. I don't know what carpeting is. I'm guessing it is a plus two, but I'm not sure. In fact, can I just go build a square real quick before we turn this off? Maybe I'll do that. Who's available right now? What time are we? 1700. So Handy, you are down in here just working on random projects because you run out of criticals. Interesting. Um, actually, who's over in this area? Uh, Klaus, where are you? You're over here. You are to a vitals monitor. Oh, we're starting to work over here. Okay. And that's interesting. But the cloth's over here. Let's have you build carpet. And if you do on carpeting, there's something else to say. Red, green, blue, white, dark. I don't know that the dark would work that well. It's going to look, you know, like these rooms over here when it's done. It's going to be quite dark. This would be nice to put a white carpet in. But I guess the blue would be equally kind of dark too. So we have five choices. And it's the same cost. It's just cloth. Seven cloth per. And we're sitting on... Is that it? 951 cloth. So we can do a couple of bedrooms easily. Then we can get a whole summer's worth of, of cotton growing going on. But let's build a... Okay, a dark cloth right there. And Klaus. Why don't you pop over and make that happen for me. Let's just see it happen. So you're going here first to what? Tear up the wood floor? Can't put carpeting over the wood boards, huh? Nope, can't. <laughs> okay, so grab the cloth, put it in there, and hopefully a dog holds that away before so we can see it happen. Okay, Klaus, you can haul that away then. And that's good enough. Now, you wanted to do that vitals monitor. Let's have you actually reserved by Eric. You guys are going to get started on these. Well, if we're going to do that, then and I was going to shut this down, but conduit, why don't you work on these handy? Okay, that's better. Um, she's got the highest skill. Um, right here. That's what I want to see. Then we'll turn this off. Plus two. So carpet is a plus two. Smooth floors is a plus two. And stone floors is a plus one. So as far as Kind of a quick peek through here. So, Grandma, Shantigo, Kathra, Missipi, Michael, Rabbit, Faith, Alicia. You guys have all got smooth floors right now. Over in here, the ones that are stone floors are because there was dirt in the area, so we couldn't just smooth it out. So, Kaya and Natalia have the ability to add carpeting if they wish to. Roll through over here. Bill and David, smooth floors at the moment. Eric and Sea Stars. Well, Eric's got stone. Sea Stars has smoothed. Klaus has uh, tile. And Handy and Tomislav have smoothed. So, guys, give me what you what you think. If Handy wants a red carpet and Tomislav wants a blue carpet, sure, we can, we can split the room up. <laughs> and... Um, with that, I think we're going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.